figure below represents a prism ABCD EFGH of length 6 cm. The cross section BCFG of the prism is a trapezium in which GF is equal to 11 cm, BC is equal to 8 cm, BG is equal to 5 cm, and angle GFC is equal to angle BCF, which is 90 degrees. So let me mark this angle first GFC. So angle GFC. GFC is here, that is 90 degrees, and then BCF, uh, BCF, that angle is also 90 degrees. So the question is, calculate correct to one decimal place the angle between the line FA and the plane GFEH. GFEH is the bottom plane. So this one is asking... Uh, requires us to get the angle between a line and the line is uh, FA and the plane the angle between a line and a plane so to get the angle between a line and a plane the first thing we do is to get the projection of that line on that plane so what is the projection of FA so let me draw that line first FA So line FA is there. So that is uh, line FA. We need to get the projection of FA on that plane G H E F. And to do that, we shall start by getting the projection of point A on the plane. So the projection of uh, point A will drop down here. It, the projection of that point will be somewhere there. And this one will form uh, 90 degrees. So that will be the projection of A. So I may call this, I may name this one as uh, point N. I may name it as N. So N is the projection of point A on the bottom plane. So therefore, the projection of AF on the plane will be NF. NF. So the projection, the projection of FA on the plane GHEF is FN. Now, therefore, we have obtained the projection of FA. Uh, to get the angle between now FA and that plane GFEH, we get the angle between that line that is FA and its projection and the projection is Fn and that angle that we require to get is this angle that is here that is the angle that we require now when you look at this triangle triangle N A F is the right angle triangle so this one thing that we need to get here A N how do we get A N now to get A N there's something that we need to do here and um, when you draw a line from here, from B, uh, this one will also form 90 degrees. So this one will form 90 degrees. And uh, this is uh, 8. If this uh, side is 8 centimeters, this one will be 8. And the whole of GF is 11. So if that point let me call this point m so gm will be 3 since g to f is equals to 11 centimeters bc is equals to mf this one is also 8 and uh, hn will also be 3 uh, the fact that ad is equals to ne so that is 8 and since the whole of these are uh, he is 11 3. so this one look at triangle a h n a h n is a right angle triangle in which we have three as the base then five as the hypotenuse so we need to get the height so to get the height we shall simply use the pythagoras theorem of course this one is very easy since this one is a three is to four is to five so we have three as the base Five hypotenuse, so the height will automatically be four. If you use Pythagoras theorem, you get the height as four. So therefore, this means uh, also be four. 
when you draw another line there's another line here we can draw uh, from n from n to m if you draw that line this will be equivalent to 6 so this will be 6 as well so that will be 6 it is the same as uh, gh is the same as mn that would be 6 um there's something that we need in order to get that angle theta that is here at least uh, for this triangle a and f we only have one side which is uh, a n which is 4 so we require to get another side and the easiest side to get is n f n f now to get n f we shall use uh, this triangle we shall use triangle n m f uh, this angle is 90 degrees at m so i can extract it here can extract it here like that so this angle is 90 so this is m this is n and this is f so this is 6 this is uh, 8 so nf we are going to use the uh, pythagoras theorem so nf will be obtained by 6 squared plus 8 squared and this uh, nf will give the square root of 100 which is uh, 10 so this is 10 so now having that uh, we can now extract that triangle here a and f so triangle a and f so a and f so a is there n is there and f is there so this is the angle that we require so i'm extracting that triangle as you can see so we have four uh, this one is four this is uh, nf we have obtained that one as 10. now having that now it will be very easy to get the angle the required angle between this line and the plane you see to get the angle between a line and the plane we get the angle between that line and its projection so to get this angle uh, you can use um tangent so tangent of that angle is equals to opposite which is 4 over the adjacent and this will give a tan of theta is equals to 0 0.4 now to get that angle we simply get the tan inverse of 0 0.4 and these will give so when you get the tan inverse of that you get 21.8 degrees so that is how we get the angle between that line and that plane